my gosh, the hay fever is so strong right now. Like I just feel so itchy around my mouth. I have an itchy throat, itchy nose, um, and I just keep sneezing all the time. But um, anyway, it's fine. So today's Friday. I always have a shower on a Friday morning because I just wash my hair and style it on a Friday so that it's good basically for the whole weekend. I've got like a little routine and I think you guys know by now what I do. I just curl my hair. I've got a choice of three different curling um, tongs and stuff and I just kind of mix and match uh, Basically, I just like to keep it fresh, so I'll just style it differently to the last time I styled it, basically. Um, so that's what I'm going to do now. Sonny's having his nap. It's actually half twelve at the moment, so I am starting this vlog slightly later on in the day. I apologise about that, but um, yeah, Sonny's just consumed my energy this morning, and we've just been playing, and I got a shower, was getting ready, he was watching some TV, my mum popped over, so um, yeah, we've just had like a bit of a um, nice chill out morning to be fair, um, and now I'm just about to curl my hair, my makeup's pretty much done. Uh, I don't really have too many plans for today actually, to be honest I'm quite glad that it's not as hot as it has been, there's a nice breeze coming through our windows at the moment, so I am pleased about that to be fair, uh, because it's just been so, so hot the last couple of weeks which I cannot complain about and um, it has been glorious to get out in the sunshine and stuff but I think when you have hot weather in the UK you also appreciate it when the weather cools a little bit because we're just not cut out really for this hot weather because nowhere has aircon thankfully we have like a little portable um, aircon unit so we have been able to keep the rooms in the upstairs of this house cool during the night time so that's taken a lot of stress and anxiety away from like the fear of sunny overheating and stuff like that so I'm very grateful to have that um, but yeah so there's not really lot a lot happening today I'm just gonna take you along with me for the day and yeah it's just gonna be a daily vlog so I hope you enjoy Okay, so I'm back and my hair is now curly. If you watch my videos regularly, you'll know that like basically I always, always curl my hair after I wash it. But um, it's not to say that I don't like my hair straight because I've got dead straight hair naturally and it's really quite flat. But since I started going blonde, uh, my hairdresser was like to me, you really need to stop washing your hair every day because that's what I used to do when I was brunette. And she was like, basically just, um, wash your hair if you can only two times a week. So that's what I do now, but if I don't curl it, I literally just can't last, like, because I think curly hair lasts so much better and also it can be, like, styled in so many ways before you have to wash it again. So um, I just think it, if I just put aside some time to have a hair wash shower and, um, and then straight after be able to curl my hair or style it in the way that I want to, it just makes it so much more manageable so much more manageable um well i'm obviously trying not to wash it and i actually would say so i used to wash my hair every every single morning when i had brunette hair and if i didn't wash it i felt like my hair was greasy but being blonder i don't know whether it's because my hair's drier but then even up here like i'm still brunette up here and i do not my hair doesn't get anywhere near as greasy and i don't know whether that's because i'm only washing it now twice a week that my my hair's just kind of got used to, um, you know, washing itself. Is that something? Like, I've heard people talk about that before. Just about to put on some of my body cream. Oh my gosh, guys. If only you could smell this through this camera. Like, it smells like mouth-watering. Like, oh my gosh. It's just, like, literally pure happiness. As soon as I open this pot... Oh, wow, it's honestly, if you haven't smelt it before, it is this, um, the Sol de Janeiro, I can't say that, sorry, it's like Beja Flora Elastic, Elasti Cream, and it's got, um, enriched with retinol mimicking cacao oil, so it's like a natural retinol, basically, and plant collagen, so it's like really good for keeping your, like, actual body skin looking young and also plump and like just really soft and I've been using this now for like a few weeks because Andy treated me to it a few weeks ago when we went on a little date day and oh my gosh the one of my favorite things about it is the fact that when you put it on you can lip so if I put that on this on right now I'll still be able to smell it tomorrow 
Like it's like perfume, you know, if you spray your clothes with perfume and you like take your top off and then the next day you smell your top, it still smells. That's like this, like it honestly. I just love nice smells and this cream, not only is it like really good and nourishing for your skin, it smells incredible. So um, I feel like I'm not, um, what's the word, sacrificing the actual product by using, like, because I love using things that make me smell really nice, but often when you use something that is perfumed, it smells, it, well, I feel like it doesn't really um, work as well as like an actual body cream, but that one, oh my gosh, like, if any of you are looking for a good body cream, I really, like, just recommend, just go and smell it, like, if you see it, I got it from Space NK, um, and it comes in, like, they have two different ones, well, they might have more in the Sol de Janeiro body butter range, but, um, there's, like, their original one, which smells more, um, I, it's quite, like, a coconutty smell, and that one also smells nice, but this one is a lot more feminine, and it smells almost like, like sweets but not artificially it smells like like flowers and sweets but all kind of like natural and it's so honestly it is just like one of the best smelling creams I've well actually I would say this is the best smelling cream I've ever owned in my life and I've tried a lot of different ones I used to love the um what is it called the body shop they used to do like you know like the body butter tubs that you could get from there and they used to smell so nice um but this this is even better so i recommend to anyone yeah, it looks like that the t oh hang on let me show you the tub when you get it out it's like this so it looks really nice i love it i love it so much sunny's actually still asleep so i'm just chilling basically um done my hair i was watching a bit of youtube so yeah i've just i've had a really really nice chill morning actually i need to make my bed now i just feel like you can't be getting into bed when your bed's made you know what i mean i don't like leaving the bed unmade so i'm going to do that now Perfect. It literally takes me, what, 30 seconds to do that, so happy days. Uh, what is the time now? It's actually 20 to 2 now, like the time's just flown by. Um, like I said, I have been taking a, a very slow day and I've been doing some washing downstairs as well in between sunny napping and stuff like that and getting myself ready. But um, yeah, I don't really know what to do. Like I would like to go out and take Sunny somewhere because when he wakes up he's going to be hungry so he'll want lunch. I have made him a little sandwich already. But I don't know whether to just take us out and like go and enjoy being outdoors because I think, I don't know, I just don't like spending loads of our time at home indoors. Let me show you something quickly. So yesterday I went into Primark to return some things that I didn't want anymore um, for me and Sunny. But while I was there, they had these on offer, these pyjamas, and they are so cute. It was this little two-pack of the LA Lakers pyjamas in the shorts, so I thought that was perfect because it's getting really hot now. And then um, they were literally £10, but they were reduced to £5 from 10 so I was like, what a bargain. And then because they were reduced, I thought these ones were also in his size and also reduced to five pounds. So I thought I could get both packets for the same price that one of them was. So I got the Chicago Bulls one as well. They look so cute. I just love getting sunny, like really cute PJs that um, have like certain graphics on and stuff like that because a lot of his clothes that I dress him in usually are quite plain. So I just love making him have like loads of colorful pajamas to go to bed in. And then I also got him for little tops for just um, going to nursery and stuff like that. So a cute little plain long, uh, short sleeve tees. Really, really cute. To be honest, I am really struggling at the moment to find Senny sizes in like loads of baby boy clothes that I actually like because he's just in a weird age where I feel like a lot of places stop making 12 to 18 baby clothes but then when you go to like the older clothes they're like one and a half plus so he's just at a really weird age at the moment where I don't feel like I can get as much for him so I just went into H&M and got these little leggings I love him in these because they're really lightweight there's just a two pack and um, they just 
are a really nice light summer trouser that doesn't, it's not hot and um, you know it's just really nice to pair them with different things but because in H&M you do the three for two so um, I got like a three pack of the tops that actually go with those and I thought they would be quite nice for holiday because it looks quite smart like the outfit looks quite you know beige holiday vibes and then again like because it was three for two I thought he could have these little joggers they're thin joggers so they could be worn like you know during the summer months so that's good um just just for nursery because everything all of his clothes at the moment even if they've got like dirt and like bean juice on them from nursery which by the way I don't mind I, nursery and to be honest in general I really don't mind if Sonny's clothes get messy because as long as he's happy and he's learning and he's exploring the clothes you know he's going to grow out of them anyway so if they've got a bit of a stain on them it doesn't really bother me but um I'm also like conscious of like not buying expensive things because they literally last for I don't know not long at all so there's just no point and then um for holiday I got him this cute little um swimming top and shorts so they've got the shorts underneath and then the top above and I just thought I, I'm going to get an all-in-one swimsuit um, but I also have this and then I've also got some other swimming trunks so I can use this top like again for the swimming trunks and then um, I just thought it's good to have both options because I can imagine like I want to keep changing his nappy especially with the swim proof nappies they're not actually so I've been seeing this thing online at the moment which uh, actually makes sense so the swimming nappies don't actually hold in the wee they just don't absorb any water <laughs> it's really weird um i don't really know what they do if they just let the wee out though because surely it would make no difference oh i know what it is basically it's just to hold in a dirty nappy basically well it's like to hold in poo um, but we obviously in swimming pools and stuff that's why there's chlorine is because it just like makes it all clean again so yeah that's that's actually what the swimming nappies are for but I thought if he's got an all-in-one in if he's got an all-in-one on it's going to be like long changing him all the time but I thought obviously with these it's just the shorts I can pop the shorts down pop on a nappy and it's just like really smooth easy transition and then basically at nursery at the moment I've just been putting in him in the short sleeve bodysuits because I just like they're so perfect for this type of weather also I don't really like putting him in um just the t-shirts yet because he's still crawling and like his if he's like climbing on something his top comes up and like I just want to protect his little belly so I like putting him on the in the bodysuit so that where he's crawling and stuff he's not going to scrape his tummy or his back um while he's exploring so I picked up these from Tesco it's a 12 no a 10 pack for 12 pound and they're all really nice colors like they're really summery so I got him those and I just thought they're perfect for the whole summer um months and then, um, yeah, the other bits I picked up from Primark were just for myself. And I just got, like, loads of colours of these bodysuits, which are the short sleeve ones. But I just think they're really easy to just make an outfit, like a basic outfit, just look a bit more colourful and summery. I got it in the lilac and this... What is that? It's like a... Uh, it's quite pinky. Yeah, it's a pink colour. Um, so, yeah, I thought, perfect. And then I also just got myself this this little racer top which is kind of ribbed it's really nice actually and really stretchy so um yeah I really like Primark for all the basic stuff I really really do so yeah happy days hello hello my darling boy come here come here are you just waking up are we gonna go out and have a picnic somewhere do you want to should we go and get you some foodie? So, Senny's just woken up from his nap. He had a mammoth nap. I think he was asleep for like maybe two hours. I literally did not know what to do with myself because after you do so many things, you kind of think, okay, they're probably going to wake up soon. But then when they don't, you're like, uh, I could have done this in that time and stuff like that. So, yeah, I just kind of thought, right, I'm going to get myself ready so that when he wakes up, I've got his um, lunch ready because I think what I've decided to do is we're just going to go out and have a picnic somewhere. And um, yeah, so basically he woke up and I think he was really hungry. So I've just given him a couple biscuits 
uh, from his backpack that was in here because he really wanted a breastfeed and I was trying really hard to like still stop it during the day and it goes really well for some like for a good amount of days and then there's some days where he wants it more than others but um if I didn't give him some biscuits then he would have been really upset and cranky because um obviously he's used to being able to be fed on demand and um it's like a transition to get him like used to not having that and like waiting for food obviously not waiting like so he's really hungry but I thought he's probably quite hungry because he's had a big nap so I'm just going to let him have a little biscuit and then we'll get him changed, ready for the day. Um, these are the other pyjamas that I just showed you from Primark. It's the, the Lakers one. Do you like them? You're happy now, aren't you? Now that you've got your biscuit. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to get Sunny ready and everything is literally ready and good to go. So we can just, I could, I'm literally dressed. I've got my shoes on the landing as well. So get Sunny ready and go straight out of the door. Which is perfect, isn't it? You were playing in your room, weren't you, before you went to bed? And there's all these Legos. All the Legos are out. This is purple, the same colour as your top. It's purple. Isn't it? Sunny is really, really, <laughs> I know I keep saying this, but he's so much closer to walking now. Like, he keeps standing up and, like, he's taking a few steps here and there now. And I honestly don't think it's going to be long. And in fact, um, I kind of would like him to start walking before we go on holiday, just because I think it's going to be so much more fun for him to be able to get around without like getting hot on his knees and hands and things like that. Because if we're by the pool area and stuff, he'll literally only be able to be either in the pool or in his pram or like on like on one of us, um, just because I think it will be too hot for him to crawl around. So if he's walking, we can get some reins and we can just like explore with him and he can like wear some nice shoes. Oh, on that note, look at these shoes that I got for Sunny because obviously I am manifesting him walking <laughs> soon. So I bought him these really, really cute little, um, I think they're little Air Forces. Uh, what are they called? Oh, Night Court Bearer Low. And they're the white and black leather. So I thought they were really cute and they would just be able to go with your outfits, won't they? I just thought if he's going to walk, I want to like mark the occasion with like a first pair of little cool trainers for him. So that we can keep them forever. And you can see what size your first trainers were. I imagine you'll probably have some similar when you're about 20. You'll probably be wearing these still. Because they're kind of like timeless, aren't they? They'll never really go out of fashion, I don't think. <laughs> You like them, don't you? Maybe we could wear them today. Do you want to wear them today? To the park? Sunny has a new found expression, which is, he's got like a real, real big frown. And it's really funny, but it's like, he's curious, but he's like... Thank you. You can say hiya. Hey, hiya. This is the frown I was on about. <laughs> By the way, guys, I am aware that those shoes like aren't the best to see. Look at him, he's just like constantly up at the moment. But um, I'm aware that those shoes that I just showed you aren't like the best for like when they start walking. So I do, he's had these for ages now. These are the pre-walker shoes from Clark's and um, they're like super flexible and really bendy for him getting up and down. But I kind of mainly just thought it was more like a, mark of the occasion trainer so that he's ready with your new trainers when you're ready to walk aren't you because i don't i don't think it'd be long so i thought i'll get them in this size you've got a little bit of room to grow still i'm not holding on by the way he's just stood there you're gonna walk to me good boy good boy oh do you want them on do you want them on your feet You're my teenager boy. You're like such a teenager now. Do you want me to do it back up? Are you going to say hi? Can you wave? Yes. You wave? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's a big smudge on the camera from where he just put his hand. Look. That is a big fingerprint. I'm gonna have to wipe the lens. 
and he just wanted to come over to say hi. Oh my gosh, guys, look at them. I just put them on him because they, he passed them to me and wanted me to like put them on his foot. Although he's probably changed his mind now. And I put them with the bright orange socks. They're just so cute, aren't they? They're so cute. Do you want to stand up? Do you want to stand up? <laughs> they look so cool, Sunny. I love them. I love them. Wow, there's a plane overhead, so that's quite noisy. But I've just arrived at this cute little car park. Like, cute little park, sorry. I'm in the car park and I've arrived at the park. And then it's got this lovely big um, green field over here. Uh, and yeah, it's just got loads of nice space for... Um, yeah, there's a toddler swings over there. Like, um, there. Um, so yeah, I also stopped off at Tesco on the way over and I just got a little mixture of things for me to eat because I wasn't really sure exactly what I'd want. So never tried these before. They're the sweet and, salt, sweet and salty popped crisps. So they'll be nice to try. I actually really love these. Um, so I got those in case I didn't like this sandwich. But I thought, because I've made Sunny a sandwich, sometimes he eats things better if I'm eating a similar thing to him. So I thought, I can just try these. Try that, and then I got myself a little smoothie. So, should we get out, Sunny, and go to the park and have a picnic? Yeah. guys so I've just gotten in the car I was gonna go for a little walk around the field as well but um, it looks like it's gonna rain because there's some really dark clouds that have started to come over and also Sunny was getting tired as well because it's now actually ten no quarter to five so um, I actually think that he's probably getting tired and I don't want to tire him out too much because I don't want him to go to sleep too early for bed tonight um, that was honestly like dreamy honestly with a the thing with having, I think it's with having kids and having dogs, they make you get out and like get some fresh air and I really love that and because I'm allergic to dogs and I don't really, I've never really had pets, like having Sunny is like the first time that I've had a reason and a purpose to be outdoors other than like obviously just wanting to myself but going for a walk with Sunny is like, it just feels so much more like I don't know what the word is, but it feels like it's got so much more purpose to me. Like I'm taking Sunny for a walk, whereas if it's for me, I just kind of like put it off. But with it's when it's Sunny, I'm like, no, I make an effort to do it. So I, yeah, I just really love it. Um, I have got the battery warning light sign come on, so it's probably gonna cut out any minute now. So I will catch up with you guys when I'm back home and I've charged the camera. Hey guys, so I'm back home now and in my cozy clothes. So this is just my like lounge clothes. But um, yeah, Sunny's in bed. I've got him on the monitor here. Um, so yeah, happy days. We um, actually, I popped into my mum's for quite a few hours and it was really nice because Kira and Neva were there as well. So it was just like nice spending some time with my sisters. And um, obviously we gave Sunny 
his dinner there. So that was great. And then my mum gave him a bath. So um, yeah, when you have a kid, you really, really appreciate your own parents because they're just so helpful. Whenever I have Sunny with me, she's like, do you want me to give him dinner? Do you want me to give him a bath? Shall I change his nappy? And I'm like, wow, yeah. Oh, if you don't mind. And I'm like, just making the most of it basically. Um, Andy's actually just popped out to get us a little takeaway. We're having a Chinese. Um, and I'll show you what we get actually, um, because we kind of get like just a lot of Englishy things from the Chinese, to be honest. Like it's not, we don't get like loads of curries and stuff. We just, well, I'll tell you, we basically get chips, chicken balls, rice, um, crispy chili beef, and plain noodles and some curry sauce like that's literally our order uh, but we love it so I'm looking forward to eating that I'm actually quite hungry now because obviously we had that picnic earlier which by the way was amazing like that's been that was just so lovely um but yeah that's that filled me up for a good while but it was actually quite a long time ago that I actually ate because it's now quarter to nine so Love Island's going to be on in 15 minutes so it'd be perfect timing for our Chinese and Love Island like proper Friday night takeaway night so um yeah happy days but guys we're actually oh Neve's calling me two seconds hello hey are you okay Sorry about that, just had to um, take a call from the little sister. Um, but basically what I was just about to tell you was I have some news. We finally have a positive house update because since we've sold this, we've definitely been in limbo. We've like went and looked at loads. I know I haven't been able to show you all of the ones that we've went and, look, went and had a look at, but I kind of feel weird about um, taking the camera in on someone else's home that like I think it's different when you go and look around new builds because no one lives there but when you go and take a camera around someone's house that does live there I just feel like it's a bit of an invasion of privacy so I haven't actually taken you with me for any of those like house viewings however we have finally literally yesterday um we went and reserved a property it is a new home so it's definitely something that we didn't think initially you know, we never thought that me and Andy would buy a new home, but this one is just perfect for us. And having spent the last, like, I don't know, four or five weeks hunting on the market and really understanding what it is we want, because we looked at some older houses that need doing up and we were like, right, like, how much is the doing up going to cost? And also, like, is that lifestyle something that we want to take on right now? Because it will be like a massive change for us in our life by doing like a big project house also like we've got Sunny as a little one like I don't really want Sunny to be living in like a construction site or it to be dusty or there's rooms that are unfinished that I can't let him go into so um there was an element of that but it was really tempting because um you know there's obviously pros and cons to everything but there was a house that came up and it was on our radar and then we were just like, right, me and Andy had like a big chat and we were like, this house does feel perfect for our family right now. Like, it's exactly what we want. It's every, it ticks every box. All of the things that were a priority to us and something that was important to us, this house has. I can't obviously show you the house yet because it hasn't been built, but um, we are going to have a meeting tomorrow about like the first initial chat about what options we want to like if there's things we want to upgrade in the house so I'm really excited about that and I'm looking forward to seeing like what I can do in the house and how I can make it feel like more of our own home but I just honestly like the now that we've done it and I know that we're going to have a new home I honestly cannot I feel so blessed and so fortunate that I'm going to be able to walk into a home that it's done, like it's complete and the day we get those keys we can go in and start moving right in, it's going to be like a lovely house for Sunny to grow up in and I was like getting so excited to Andy earlier saying that this house that we're, we're going to be moving into is actually like going to be where Sunny makes all of his memories and our future children make their childhood memories like to me that's so precious and to make sure that they have like a lovely 
family home and the fact that we can give that to them I just feel so so like fortunate and I just feel like really really grateful to be honest that this is happening to us and it's happening to us now everything feels like it's slotting in the right places and I'm just so excited to be honest like I just cannot fathom it and basically the plan is is that we're going to continue to sell this house because we just kind of like want to sell this one so that everything's done and dusted and then because there'll probably be like a few months until we can move into the new house and um, we're just going to move in with my mum for a few months which I'm also really excited about because as I was just saying earlier like my mum's amazing she like treats us all like kings and queens when we're there obviously I've already told her I'm not going to expect that kind of treatment when we move in but like I know what she's like and she she's just the best and it's just going to be like a really amazing couple of months while we wait for our house to be finished living with my mum again because I think we'll look back on that time and just think how fun it was to be able to all sit around and have dinner again in the evenings and like I don't know it's just going to be really nice to put Sunny in bed and come back down and be in our family home and watch TV together, watch films together, like when all the family are there, it's so nice and usually we have to leave early because we want to get Sunny to bed but we'll be there. So um, yeah, I'm just really excited about what the next six months holds for us really now because it's just like I know where we're going, I know what our plan is and I just feel so happy in that, like I just feel like I've woken up this morning like with a whole new like perspective on my life and I'm just like oh my gosh like I can't believe this is happening to us right now so um yeah that is my big house update and like I said I'm sorry it's just an update and I can't actually show you anything yet but when we get to do like site visits and stuff I'll try and like take videos of things so that I can bring you along the journey with us um because it's it's actually like crazy when you think about how it works when you buy a new house it's like if you buy the house before it's built they're like building it for you so you get to like say if you want a plug socket there and if you want to move anything or if you want to like add certain things it's just like wow 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 this is just amazing so um me and Andy keep driving into the area and like looking around thinking oh this is where we're going to be driving home to uh, oh Andy's home, so that means Chinese is here. Oh, I need to put on Love Island. What's the time? Oh, it's one minute two, so I'll put on Love Island now. Okay, so Love Island is paused, ready for us to get out of our Chinese. Thank you, Andy. You're Treating welcome. me like a princess. Oh, and I got this. This is my new obsession. Ooh, it is ooh, so nice. Ooh. Is that hot? Yeah, what is it? Um, so we got a portion of tippers. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. Oh, we should know. really, oh, they look nice. We really shouldn't be eating this before holiday, but we've got things to celebrate, haven't we? Yeah, we mm. do. Oh, These are so nice. By the way, what? I tested the chicken balls on the way home. How were they? Bang it. <laughs> they were so what good. else have we got? I tested it twice. Do you want chicken balls? Look, they look really nice and crispy so and not too greasy as well. Like, they're not... I hate it when you get chicken balls that are, like, oozing in grease and soggy, but these are crispy and not greasy. Why is it all so freaking hot, mate? Ah. <laughs> You're gonna okay, so we got chips, curry chili sauce, beef. crispy chili beef, and... Yeah. Oh, that it's is good, it's it? actually really good. I forgot how good it is there. It's good though, isn't it? Look, it's really nice and thin and actually crispy. Mmm. Mm. Oh my gosh. Wow. Sometimes you get it and it's like soggy. Uh, not from there, but you know, if you go from another. Yeah, one. they're good that. Um, they yeah, it's actually so good. Um, oh, look at that rice. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What a perfect day. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Love Island, Chinese. And I just told them about our house update. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? <laughs> Andy, show me how excited you are about our new home. That's how excited I get. That's the max of my excitement, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, I need enough. I'm actually just gonna. No, I got. Um, I got all of the. I got spoon for that. 
I actually got a. I actually did get Your a. Actually a yeah, everything looks so good. Is um, Love Island on? Yeah, I've got it on post, ready to go. Sweet. Um, ah, chippers, where's chippers? Taste test for y'all. <clears throat> oh my god. Do you do my chips? Why does that just taste so good? Oh my goodness. How many chips do you want? Oh, that's fine. Oh no. Oh. Shall I do a little chicken ball taste test for you? Should I dip it in the curry sauce? Let oh, me dip. the curry sauce is insane. It is. Wait. This is such a good Chinese, by the way. Um, it is actually, what's it called? Golden Star in mm. Tuffley. It's really, really, really nice. It's also a chip shop, isn't it? So know. you get, I swear it's a chip shop. And I have a, no clue, but you're this. Yeah, so the chips and the curry sauce are like chip shop ones. And then the Chinese is like really nice. So... A little bit of curry sauce. Mmm. Mmm. We're gonna crack on and eat our Chinese. So um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye. So Andy, what did you think of Love Island? That was actually a good sign. Yeah, it was. Um, who's your favourite on there? Boy or girl? Both. Boy probably Luca. Yeah, he's actually been really nice, hasn't yeah. he? Quite like Luca and Gemini. Um, what about girl? Guess. Paige. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Paige is really nice. Yeah. I like Paige and I like Jax. Mm. Um, not too much of a fan of Andrew and Tasha at the moment. Tash. Tasha, no. Yeah. Um, but I'm actually really enjoying it this year. Uh, yeah. That was a shock that Davide chose... Um, the other girl, the Greek girl, instead of the other one. I don't know who she was. She was a new one. You missed mm. some episodes. Um, but yeah, it was really good, wasn't it? And that food was so nice. There's still loads left. Um, but I've we had a good sweats. go. Huh? I've got food sweats. Don't tell me that. Wow, I'm hot. Don't tell me that. you got more of a food coma, probably. Mm. But that was so delicious. As you can see, I am just chilling, living my best life. <laughs> Um, letting my food go down because you know if you have like a Chinese it just makes you feel like so bloated doesn't it mm, so I know so just lying down putting my feet on Andy my feet are always in my face get away mate <laughs> um, and just stretching out let that food go down it's bliss Sunny's still asleep so happy days we've just been relaxing and chillaxing and I have been Excellent on pitch picking some Oh, that's had us in school what? a couple of days. What did you say? What's that? Relaxing and chillaxing. I had some alcohol and shooting some people. I had some of my school and a couple of guys. They were up to no good. Started making trouble in my neighbourhood. Oh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I got Bella. one little off. I had my mum got scared. She's gone, we'll be Andy and I'll go there. Ding. <laughs> um, Did you still watch that? I didn't really, but no, I know it. Anyway, I have literally just been like most of the evening as well on Pinterest thinking about this house and just like what we're going to do with it, what we're going to like, you know, how we're going to decorate it. And I'm now going to get Andy's laptop because it's just under the settee and I'm going to start looking at some furniture. I know it's like early days because, oh, that the rain, rain. It's it just gone. going to be a storm. Oh, I think there's going to be a thunderstorm. I love being cosy and warm inside when there's a storm. Wow, um, what's I going to say? Yeah, I am going to have a look at furniture. Did I don't know if I mentioned, but we're pretty sure we'll have the keys in December. If not December, it'll be like January, Feb, mm. latest Feb. But um, yeah, they're pretty certain that it will be December because everything's on schedule. So, um, well, it's actually ahead of schedule, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, I, I know it's like early days, but I kind of just want to start looking. You know when you're just excited, so you just want to like... Um, start getting like a little feel for how you want to decorate something and that is oh, me right yeah. now but yeah so happy days you're gonna love it aren't you yeah we're both gonna love it we're all gonna yeah, love you it love the decor stuff. oh yeah i love 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 like that's been i think when you move into your first house you learn a lot about what you like and what you don't like and like i guess this house i've experimented a bit with things and like when we moved in here i didn't even test the paint i just like was like that looks like a nice colour in the shop on the little, you know, they have like a tiny little card. 
I just picked it off that. Mm. And then I painted it. I was like, oh, it's a bit more pinky than I expected it to be. But I was just like, chill with it. But on this house, I'm going to actually do it all properly and like get test paint mm. and make sure it's okay. But um, anyway, guys, that has been my Friday vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been like a lovely day. And um, yeah, I feel like we're ending today on such a positive note i hope you enjoyed watching if you did watch it until now then thank you so much for watching bye say bye andy bye love you <laughs>